Juicy. That's right. I got you juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. Uh, Missy Elliott was honored yesterday with her very own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This is so fabulous. Sierra and Lizzo unveiled the star during her acceptance speech. Uh, Missy was so great. She shouted out her sisters in hip hop and specifically what she called the godmothers. Queen Latifah, Moni Love, Shah Rock, Angie Stone, Roxanne, Shante, Yo-Yo, MC Light, and salt and Pepper. She said, y'all are the backs that we stand on. Y'all are the foundation. Y'all ran so we could walk. Y'all stood up for something so we could sit comfortably. And that's just another notch in her belt. You know, she was recognized for her contribution in hip-hop. Uh, in 2019, with the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award at the 2019 VMAs. And she was also enshrined into the Songwriters Hall of Fame the same year. She's just, uh, she's so fabulous. Stevie J has filed for divorce from Faith Evans after three years of marriage and what seemed to be a tumultuous relationship from the start of their marriage. Um, they have uh, have had their reported ups and downs in their relationship. And we say reported because we're not really sure because, um, you know, it was suggested that they broke up in 2019. Um, they seem to have like little spats on social media and follow each other. But like you're married and living in the same house. So all of that, you know, kind of had people a little confused. Confused. Then in May 2020, Faith Evans was reportedly arrested following a domestic violence incident with Stevie J. Yeah, she was arrested. Um, and then the couple stayed together and were reportedly working on their marriage. And then Stevie J surfaced with a tattoo of Faith's face to kind of say that we're good. We're still together. Um, Stevie and Faith did not have any children together, and it's unclear if there was a prenup, but it has come to an end. And from the It's Good to Be Rich files, Ricky Ross, Ricky Rose, said he bought a $1 million home in Atlanta just so he could ride by it. In an interview on Revolt's new show, Assets Over Liabilities, Rick Ross spoke briefly about buying his first home in Atlanta after he got his first deal and got that money. He said, I bought a $1 million home just two minutes um, from where he is now. And uh, he said he still owns the house. It was just around the corner so he could ride by every day while he was in Atlanta. Just to ride by and say, yeah, I could buy that. Um, and, you know, he definitely has no shortage of money coming in, you know, with his franchises of Checkers and Wingstop. Um, and then, of course, he's got uh, the marijuana line. And then, in addition to the $1 million Atlanta home, he also owns a $3.5 million estate in Florida that he bought from Amari Stoudemire. And that uh, 100 109 room estate in Georgia that was in uh, um, uh, Eddie Murphy, you remember? Coming to America too. That's right. And uh, you know, he also saves a lot of money because he cuts his own grass there. And he also started flying commercial as well. And you know, he's pulling about $585,000 a month. So you can say that uh, Ricky Rose is doing very, very well. And you know what? I kind of like him. I like the fact that he cuts his own grass and uh, he, you know, he still tries to, to save money in ways that uh, other, other folks like to flash. So good on him. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Tuesday. Lock it in again tomorrow. Right here on the all-new KISS 96, because I'm a boss.